The weather station is a sensor that records and processes weather data every 8 seconds for use in establishing smart auto-adjust runtimes on the SmartLine controller. The weather station communicates with the SmartLine controller through a communication hub, a wireless transceiver that sits inside the controller. It has a range of up to 450 meters. In this video, we'll go over the basic steps to set up and use a weather station with a SmartLine controller. To attach the communication hub, open the controller's face panel. Insert the communication hub into the mating pin connector holes, secure with the supplied screw, and close the control panel. The communication hub is now attached. To wirelessly connect the weather station to the controller, first turn the rain freeze sensing option from off to on. Press and hold the rain switch on top of the weather station for 15 seconds. During this, the rain freeze sensing light on the SmartLine controller will turn red. After the switch is released, a wireless antenna icon will appear on the SmartLine controller screen, and the LED light underneath the weather station will blink green four times. And with that, the weather station is now installed and ready for the smart programming to begin. Smart ordering mode overrides manually set zone run times and calculates them based on your location, inputs such as soil, plant, and sprinkler types, and weather readings from the weather station. The smart mode saves water by automatically adjusting to specific plant needs 365 days a year. To properly program in smart mode, options are set using the smart section of the dial. Zip code latitude is used to calculate the physical location of the site. A zip code can be used in the US. For the rest of the world, a latitude must be entered. Melbourne's latitude is 38 degrees south. Other latitudes can be found at the rear of the SmartLine owner's manual or online. Sprinkler type is used to calculate the runtime for each zone based on precipitation rates, which is the speed that water is applied to an area. This is set by selecting from one of four sprinkler types, spray, rotor, drip, or bubbler, each preset with a suitable precipitation rate. Alternatively, you can also enter your own specific precipitation rate. Plant type is used to calculate the amount of water used in each zone based on different types of plants. Cool season turf, warm season turf, shrubs, annuals, trees, and native plants. Alternatively, this can be set by entering a crop factor. Soil type is used to determine the length of runtime in each zone before pausing watering for a calculated period. This allows the water to soak into the soil. It is set by entering the soil type and the degree of slope. The soil types available are loam, clay, or sandy. For a flat surface, set the slope to zero degrees. More, less is used to fine tune the runtime calculation in each zone by percent. This can be useful for shaded or partially shaded areas. To start irrigating in smart mode, move the dial to run and set the watering mode to smart.